As soon as they learned there were two explosions within seconds of each other, many experts in the intelligence and law enforcement communities began using the word terrorism. Nine on your side's Jason Law spoke with a counterterrorism expert and has more tonight on what he's been able to glean from what happened. Jason? That's right, Clyde and Carol. Ed Bridgman is a certified U.S. Homeland Security instructor. He studies and teaches counterterrorism all throughout the country. He says one of the things that worries him the most is that somebody out there may see what happened in Boston earlier today. A copycat may see what happened and get inspired by it and then try and repeat what happened themselves. Counterterrorism expert Ed Bridgman says for years he's worried sporting events would be the next big target for people wanting to cause massive devastation. Again, you've got the, the population density, you've got the media attention, uh, you've got the uh, uh, vulnerability. Bridgman wants to know more about the bombs that exploded Monday afternoon. He says specific details like how they were built and how they went off can tell investigators a lot. The device itself. You know, what kind of advice was it? Was it uh, time device? Was it uh, uh, what they call a uh, remote detonation, the command detonated? Uh, was it radio detonated? I very seriously doubt if it was radio detonated with all of the radios that would have been around there between the media and the police and the emergency services. Even scarier, Bridgman doesn't believe there's much we can do to prevent this from happening again. When you're having an event in an outdoor venue, uh, with 40,000 people wandering through, uh, there's no way to 100% guarantee you're going to be able to secure that event. And Bridgman adds, there's always the fear someone else will be inspired to repeat what they saw. Are you worried about copycats with this? Always. Always. Uh, as soon as uh, something like this happens, there's going to be somebody sitting around uh, in their garage or their mother's basement or whatever, and they're going to say, we could have done better than that. And when we talked with Ed Bridgman earlier today, he was expecting two or three groups to come right out and claim responsibility for the explosions in Boston. So far, that hasn't happened, though. And at this point, we still don't know if this was an act of domestic terrorism or international. Jason Law, live tonight for Nine on Your Side. All right, thanks, Jason. So 